2009 being the first um, isn't a great thing because of the fact that we have so much talent and so much skill within our community and so um, being the first black chief policy council one of the things that I I hope that I'm able to do is to ensure that others know that I am not the exception I am just um, a reminder of the standard the fact that um, that the strongest most powerful governor in the nation has as his chief policy counsel uh, a little girl who has known struggle uh, from the one of the nation's uh, most dangerous cities, one of the nation's poorest cities, um, means a great deal to me. Uh, it also is a phenomenal opportunity, has been a phenomenal opportunity to work for an individual like uh, our great governor. The mark that I would love to leave uh, having served in this position would be to ensure that others know that I have been here, meaning uh, that through the initiatives and the policy agendas set by the Corzine administration, that there is something that speaks to the sense of urgency needed in urban communities, the sense of urgency needed to focus on uh, those who are less for fortunate, um, that others will be able to say that there was a time when there is indeed a voice for the voiceless. Receiving the Roger Yancey Award from the Garden State Bar Association is a uh, phenomenal honor. Who am I? I am humbled that this prestigious organization would even take a moment to acknowledge anything that I have done in this short lifetime. And so I am honored, I say to my colleagues and to my mentors, thank you. It means to me that we are taking an opportunity to acknowledge um, those of us who are toiling in the field. As my Reverend Father says, those of us in the ghetto doing God's work. Um, and acknowledging the fact that we are connected not just to the task ahead of us on a daily basis, but to um, the Shirley Chisholm's and the Barbara Jordan's and the Fannie Lou Hammers who have come before us, as well as to the Carol Copen Walkers and the Pam Millers and the Siobhan Tears and Betty J. Lester's who are with us now. So I am humbly honored to have an opportunity to receive this award and to say thank you to all of the members of the Garden State Bar Association because the truth of the matter is that we, unlike so many others of our counterparts, that as we go to work, we take our entire community with us. So I am incredibly honored. Thank you.